Hello, can I get me? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Very good, and you? I'm excellent, thank you. How was your day today? Today, finally, is Friday. Yes. Are you happy because it's Friday today? Um, working. Uh, okay, you work. <laughs> Uh, every day, really? Uh, what about tomorrow? Are you going to work tomorrow? Yes. Yes, and Sunday too? Uh, no, Sunday not. Ah, okay, are you going to go to the church on Sunday? Yes, uh, and in the morning, uh, night, a.m. Mm -hmm. You... Eh, ¿Cómo dice? ¿Y después? Then, o oh, after that. After that, eh, beside my family. Oh, you are going to visit your family. Excellent. Where do they live? Eh, they, be, they live in 600, como no sé cómo se dice en inglés. They live in 600. 600. Ah, 600. Six hundred. That is the name of a neighborhood. Ah, okay. The okay. Seiscientas is a neighborhood. A very interesting name. Ay. Y por qué <laughs> se llamará así? Seiscientas hectáreas, seiscientas casas. Eh, la historia, <laughs> según lo que ellos cuentan, verdad, que eran seiscientas manzanas de lo que es de la orilla de la carretera hasta un lugar que le llaman las oficinas. Y por eso That's lo bautizaron así. Todo, y todo eso colinda, no sé si conoce Zapotitán. Mm, no, I have never been there. Carretera son, son, a Santa Ana. Oh, yes, I have been ah, there. Ajá, colinda con todo ese, esa, ese, esa parcelación es donde Zapotitán solo era cultivo antes. Ah, ok, that's why mm -hmm. the name then. Very interesting, very interesting story. Thank you, Ana. Um, so, Marlon, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Thank you. I find, I find mm -hmm. teacher. And you? How are I'm you? I'm very good. I'm very good. Today is Friday. Right? I'm so happy because it's Friday today. Tomorrow we are going to rest. Are you going to work yes. tomorrow, Marlon? Sorry, teacher. Are you going to work tomorrow? No, teacher. No, I, I uh, take a rest. Very good. That is Tomorrow. excellent. Okay, that's excellent. So I hope that you enjoy your weekend. Tomorrow. What are you going to do? I'm going to work. Right? I have some classes tomorrow. So I'm going to work. And, okay. And what are you going to do this weekend? Um, maybe I seem to watch uh, I'm going to watch uh, uh, movies series, Netflix series and take a rest okay that is excellent right very good so relaxing is very important too right the body needs to relax hello Gangel. good evening welcome to the class how are you tonight Hello, Angel. Hello, good evening. How good are evening. you? I am fine to go. Oh, that's excellent. It's happy to know. It's good to know that you are very nice tonight. So during this week, we have been studying the simple past tense, right? Hemos estado estudiando el pasado simple. We have already studied regular verbs and also irregular verbs. We have studied affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and also interrogative sentences in the simple past tense. Tonight, we are going to check the platform. We are going to check the exercises there. So let's start with that. And then we are going to have a practice. Right? You are going to practice with your classmates in simple past tense. And then we are going to start today this section number five, which is 
the simple past tense with the verb to be. So that is what we're going to study tonight. So let's start with this. Here we go. Let me share with you. Yes, give me a second. Oh, where is it? I close it. Wait. Let me see. Okay, I'm sharing with you this web page, which is the platform, right? This is the platform, and we are in section number four, right? And in this section, we have been studying the simple past tense, and this is the exercise number one. Did you complete this exercise? So the instructions say, um, change the verse in parentheses to the past to complete the story. You don't need to tie a period. It is already placed. So on Friday, I, what is the prime for of the simple pass of the verb wait? Ana, Marlon, Angel. Uh, wait. Yes. On Friday night, I. ¿Qué tengo que agregarle a ese verbo para hacerlo en pasado simple? It's a regular verb. Okay. Y di. ED, excellent. So wait it. On Friday night, I wait for a phone call. But my girlfriend no called. So como digo, no llamó in past. But my girlfriend no llamó. No call it. No call it. Is it okay? To make negative sentences, we need the help of an auxiliary. Do you remember that? Oh. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar? Did. Excellent. Batman didn't. Didn't call. Didn't. Didn't call. Okay, teacher. Is that correct? Didn't call. But my girlfriend didn't call. ¿Está correcta ahora la oración? The... No, teacher, because the auxiliar verb it's already in past. Oh. Yes, you are right. So we oh, need to write okay. just the verb in present. So call. Present. But my girlfriend yes. didn't call. I just stay home and watch watch TV. Excellent. Thank you. And watch TV. On Saturday, I visit. What is the simple past tense of visit? Visit. 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 Visited, yes. Visited. On Saturday, I visited my friends. We told and we told and listen, listen, listen to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over, and we cook. Cooked, 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 a great cooking. meal. Cooked. I very hard on Saturday. And let's see. Yo no trabajé demasiado el domingo. Didn't, didn't work very hard on Saturday. On Sunday. Work. Okay, excellent. And then he says, I not study at all. Didn't study. Okay, excellent. Didn't, didn't, didn't study. study. Uh, and the last one is I just walked the mall and shop. 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 It's correct. Shop. Mm. Is it correct? No lleva doble P. Ah, ok. Como tiene la combinación a uh, consonante, vocal, consonante, consonante, vocal, mm -hmm. consonante, we need to double the P. Shot. Let me see. Oh, look at this. All of them were correct. That is excellent. So let's go with the next exercise in this section. 
conversation instruction. Complete the conversation by using the correct form of the verb in the past tense. And we have a question first. Did you, did you enjoy or enjoy it? Enjoy. Enjoy. Because you, because okay. you, the auxiliary did. Okay, because it is a question in the simple past is in the auxiliary <laughs> did. Excellent explanation. Thank you. Yes, I did. I. Have. Have. The simple past then. Have. have is had. Have. have. And then it says, I to the beach a lot. I went to the beach when. Okay, I went. Okay, very good. That was excellent. Conversation number two. Complete the conversation by using the correct form of the verb in the past tense. Did you anywhere last summer? Did you go or did you went? Go. 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 Okay, go. Excellent. No, I didn't. I stay or I stayed here. Stay. Stay. Okay, simple past. And I get a party time job or I got a party time job. So I made some extra money. Got. I got. got. Okay, let's see. Excellent. Very good. That was perfect. And conversation number three. Complete the conversation by using the correct form of the verb in the past tense. I like the same instruction. Did you any class last summer? Did you take or did you took any classes last summer? Take. Take is the right answer. Yes, I did. I took or I take tennis lesson and I played tennis every day. Took. Took. I took. Okay, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. And the answer were correct. Very good job. Brilliant. Complete the conversation by using the correct form of the verb in the past tense. Did you speak or spoke English last summer? I speak. I speak. Speak. No, I didn't, but I read or I read English books. Read. 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 Excellent. Se escribe igual, pero la pronunciación cambia en pasado. Read in present, read in simple past. And I watched or oh, I watch English movies. I watch what? Okay. And at the end. Okay, nice. Very good. No problem in this exercise. Then let's go with this other one. This is the last one, I guess. Yes, yes, it is. It is the last one. Unscramble the question by putting the words in the correct order. Remember to tie the question mark. Then, unscramble, it's meant ordenar. Ordene las palabras o las preguntas. No, ordene las palabras poniéndolas en el orden correcto. Recuerde escribir el signo de pregunta. That is the question mark. Uh, I have the word watch television. Did you last night? And it have a question mark, so it's a question. Did you watch Did you television, watch last, television night? last night? Did you watch television last night? Last night. And don't forget about the question mark. Have dinner you did last night? Did you, Did you have, have dinner last night? Did you last have night. a dinner, Did last, dinner night? last night? And don't forget about the question mark. Go to work yesterday, you did. Did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? And the question mark. And the last one, go to the movies they did on Wednesday. Did they... Go to, go, the to movies the movies on on go to the movies on Wednesday. Go to the movies on Wednesday. And the question mark. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, look at this. 
something is wrong with this. Teacher, you yes, erase the erase the the e the a. Sorry, a. Ah, okay. Mm. Did you have dinner last night? Let's try again. Okay, now it's excellent. Thank you so much for your help. You are very good doing this kind of exercise. Perfect answer. And those were the exercise on the platform in the section number four. Do you have any question about this? Any question about the simple past tense? This no, is the moment. Teacher. No questions? Okay, that's great. Uh, did everybody complete all these exercises? Anna, did you finish section four? Carmen, did you finish the section? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. Ah, okay, you have no, to you. do it. You have to do it. Remember that. Don't forget about the exercises. Okay, thank you. Okay. That was the simple pass. Now let's do some exercise before we start with the other topic. Just give me a second. I'm going to share the presentation with you. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Today, we're going to start section number five. And this is the topic. Ah, oh, yes, a sec. That was this one. Simple pass with the verb to be. Welcome to the class number 12. Okay, look, this is our class 12. Ya llevamos 12 clases. El tiempo vuela. Time's fly. Uh, we are going to finish the next week, right? So you uh, have to be sure that you finish the platform the last week. Okay. Para la próxima semana, si tenemos que terminar la plataforma, ¿verdad? Uh, sección 4, sección 5 y el final exam. Okay, don't forget about that. Antes del día viernes, because we are going to rest on Wednesday because it's Mother's Day. So the next Friday, we are going to have classes, we are going to have classes next Friday, too. No, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it is because of the Mother's Day. El miércoles vamos a descansar. Ese día puede aprovechar para terminar la plataforma. No es cierto, ¿verdad? Tengo su mamá. No, es <laughs> dicho, descanso si mamá, para mamá, nosotras. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ok, descanso para las que son madres también. Entonces, yes. ese día, no, le voy a dar permiso, pero sí hay que terminar la semana, semana que viene. Ok. Yo ya lo terminé. Ok, that is great. Ya está libre de todo pecado, ya puede disfrutar. No. Congratulations, then. So, this is the last section, simple pass with the verb to be. But before to start with the verb to be, uh, let's read the lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to form positive and negative statements with the past of B. But before to do that, let's solve this exercise. Complete the conversation, then practice with a partner. Let's see conversation number one. Did you have a good summer? Yes. What is the answer there? Yes. Yes, I did. Excellent. Yes, I did. And the next. I had a great. I had. I had. Yes, excellent. Yeah. I had a great summer. I just. A great summer. I just. Relax. 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 I just relax. <laughs> relax. With this sound. And let's go with the second conversation. That is a question. Did you? Did you, did you go? Did you go? Excellent. Did you go anywhere last anywhere summer? No. No, I didn't. No, I no, didn't. I stay here, but, but my friend, my friend visited me. Visited me. And on the weekends, we Went out a lot. Went, went out a lot. Out, went out. out a lot. Me faltó out ahí, pero sí es went out. Went out a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry, my mistake. Let's see number three. It's a question again. 
Did you? Did you? Did you take? Did you take class? Did you last or night? Did you take? Did you take? Did you take? Because did you take any class did last you? summer? Yes. Yes, I didn't. No, yes, I did. Yes, yes I, I did. Yes, I did. I took. I took. I took mm -hmm. tennis lesson. I took and I, tennis lesson. And, and I played. 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 Tennis every day. Tennis every day. Every Excellent. Day. Number four. Again, it's a question. Did you, did you speak, did you speak English, English last summer? Last summer? summer? No, I don't. No, I, didn't. I, no, didn't. I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. Excellent. But I... But I read... English books and I... English books. Watch... English movies. English movies. And I watch English movies. Perfect answer. Thank you so much. Now I need to volunteer to practice in this two small conversation. A conversation one and two. Any volunteer? Who wants? Anybody? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. I have Carmen in. Any other volunteer to practice in conversation one and two? One, two. Si nadie participa, nos conectamos el miércoles. One, two. <laughs> Me teacher. Me teacher. Thank you, Kevin. Acaba de salvar a la clase. Gracias, Kevin. You are a hero. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Carmen A. Can you please? So, Carmen A. Kevin B. Please. Okay, teacher. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I just relaxed. Didn't you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed here, but my friend visit visit me, and on the weekends we went out a lot. Excellent! Very good job. That was excellent. You are trying to pronounce the. The verb in simple past, right? That's nice. So stayed, visited. Okay. Don't forget about the pronunciation of the final ED and the regular verbs. Very good job. Thank you. And Thank conversation you. three and four. Three and four. Si no hay voluntario, vamos hasta la once Ah, thank you. Jose y me. Tell me your name. Jose me, Jose me. Two volunteers. Okay, I'm gonna choose Ana Lucia and Angel Portillo. Is it okay? Can you? Okay. Angel, can you please? Yes, okay. Uh, let's see. Ana, you are A, and Angel, you are B. Let's start. Okay. Did you take any classes last summer? Yes, I did. I took a tennis lesson. I played tennis every day. Did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't. But I read uh, English books and I watch English movies. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very good pronunciation. Thank you. That was an excellent job. Thank you so much for your help in this part. Okay, now is your turn to practice this simple past tense. But let me see. I'm going to erase these lines. No sé quién me rayó la pantalla, pero ya lo arreglé. Okay, ya borramos. Um, Thank you. Any other volunteer to practice? No Good more job. volunteers. Ah, thank you. I have Anayas Min. Anayas Min. And anybody? Me, teacher. Oh, thank you, Marlon. So, conversation number one and conversation number four. One and four. Anna, you are going to read A part, and Marlon, you are going to read B part. Can you please start? Did you have? A good summer? 
Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I just relaxed. Did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't. But I read, I wrote English, English book, and I watched English movies. Excellent. Thank you. Very good job. Almost perfect. Yes, in this per read. But I read English books and I watched, watched English movies with this sound at the end. Watched. Thank what? you so much. Thank you so much for your help. Okay, now we are going to work in the breakout rooms, right? You are going to work with your classmate and you are going to share. Look at the following activities that I have here. I have a lot of activities, right? Number one is stay home. So movies, went by writing, studied, visited uh, my brother, his brother, his brother. We're going to say my, visited my brother read books, went jogging, have had a job, went to the beach, watched television, played tennis, painted the house. And also I have another here. I uh, saw a movie, work in the yard, clean the house, exercise or played sports, went shopping, bought some clothes, saw friends, studied, had dinner at a restaurant, read a book, when dancing, met some interesting people, talked on the phone, and got up late. So which one of these activities did you do last weekend? ¿Cuál de estas actividades hizo el fin de semana pasado? ¿Y cuáles no hizo? Let's choose one. Stay home. Ah, okay, Lindsay. I stay home Lindsay. last weekend. I stay home, or I stay home last weekend. Very good. Ahora, Thanks. una que no hizo, Marlon, una actividad que no hizo. I, I, did, I didn't go bike riding. Excellent. I didn't go bike riding. Recuerde que tienen que cambiar el verbo, ¿verdad? Lo hizo mm -hmm. muy bien, eso fue excelente. Después, en una oración negativa, cambio el verbo presente. ¿verdad? I didn't go by writing. Excellent job. Vale, vamos a ir a los breakout rooms y usted va a compartir con sus compañeros cuáles de estas actividades hizo y cuáles no. Eh, let me see. Three, it's okay. Tres que sí hice, tres que no hice. Está correcto. Is it okay? ¿Están de acuerdo? Sorry. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, teacher. Very good. Then let's see. Anybody can take a screenshot and share in the WhatsApp group in case that you need to read the activities. Can somebody take a screenshot of this and share it in the group? Ah, ahorita, teacher. Okay, there it is. Um, just stay in the group of the WhatsApp. Thank you so much, Carmen. I really appreciate your help in this moment. Ahí están las actividades ya en el grupo para que usted pueda compartir con sus compañeros. So I just want to say, I went to the beach last weekend. I watched television and I played tennis. Estas fueron mis tres oraciones afirmativas. Ahora voy con las negativas. I didn't read a book. I didn't go dancing. And I didn't get up late. Esas fueron mis tres oraciones negativas. Así va a compartir con sus compañeros. Do you have any question? No, teacher. No question, ok. Y sus compañeros también pueden hacerle preguntas. Por ejemplo, Ana Lucía, did you see a movie last weekend? Yes, I did. Excellent answer. Thank you. So you say, yes, I did. That was perfect. Kevin, did you exercise last weekend? 
Did you exercise last weekend? Mm. Yes, I did, teacher. Yes, I did. Okay, excellent answer too. And let me see, Angel, did you go shopping last weekend? No, I didn't, teacher. No, you didn't. Excellent answer. Bueno, después de compartir sus oraciones y les queda tiempo, pueden preguntar, pueden hacer preguntas. Did you? Did you go dancing? Did you cook? Did you read books? Did you go jogging? And so on. So let's start. I will give you, let's see. How many we are tonight? One, two. Well, I'm going to count. We are going to make three groups for you to practice. Well, in the first group is Angel, Francisca, and Kevin. In the second group is Anna, Carmen, and Marlon. The third one, Anna, Yasmin, and Marvin, Alexander. So, are you ready? I will give you 10 sure. minutes. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Podría reenviar el, el chat en el grupo, porfa, el, la pantalla. Sure, no problem. Okay, there you have. Well, let's start. See you in 10 minutes. Sia, yeah, Angel, Francisca, Marvin, do you have any problem to enter to the breakout rooms? ¿Recibieron la invitación para unirse a las salas? Clic en aceptar para unirse a las salas con sus compañeros, please. Hello, tell me good evening. How are you tonight? Marvin, did you have a problem to enter to the breakout rooms? Can I help you with something? Tell me your classmates are working in the breakout rooms. They are practicing the simple past tense, saying some affirmative and negative sentences. Tell me, can you listen to me? Hello, tell me, can you listen to me? Tell me, voy a asignarla a un grupo pequeño con sus compañeros para que pueda practicar. Se lo tiene que dar clic en aceptar la invitación para unirse a la sala.
Mad, you had probably with you had problem with your microphone. Que okay, no problem, pero puede entrar a la sala para escuchar a sus compañeros. I did visit visit his brother. Visit it. Visit it. Visit, it. visit it is brother. Get uh, welcome us. I stay home. También. Okay. Eh, las que no hicimos entonces ahora. What did you do right. last weekend? O sería la pregunta. Que no hiciste, ¿verdad? porque you, what did you do what did es you, lo que hiciste. What, so, what didn't, didn't, what didn't, didn't you, do you do last, last weekend? weekend. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Yes. Marlon. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't study. Mm -hmm. Study. I didn't study. have a job. I didn't pay, pay, paint the house. Okay. okay. Um, bueno, lo que yo no hice fue I didn't visit What? my sister, I didn't went dancing, and I I didn't play tennis. Okay. John, I didn't read a book, I didn't watch television, I didn't went shopping. Okay. Ok, estamos, creo yo. <risa> Finish. Finish. I didn't Finish. want that scene, it's ok. Ay, sé que está. Oh, estaba el teacher. Estaba the escuchando el teacher. Okay. <risa> so, nice job. Very good sentences. Thank you so much. That was so fast. But the sentence, did I went dancing? Is it correct? Uh -huh. No. I didn't, I didn't go It's a very present. I didn't go. Ah, uh -huh. okay. You say, I didn't go. Yo escuché, I uh -huh. didn't go. Well. Sí. Ah, okay. Fui yo. Me equivoqué, <laughs> pero eso estaba tratando de arreglar. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. No problem, right? Mistakes are part of the process, right? Los errores son parte del proceso, so don't worry, right? We are learning. Very good job. And now, question. Make questions. Did you... Hagan preguntas, vamos with the questions. No, solo una pregunta, ¿seremos familia? <risa> Para el apellido. Ay, that could be, podría ser. Primos. We are cousins. Podría ser. Cousin. <risa> es probable que sí, ¿verdad? Sí, probable. Probable. De uso bueno. de Ah, I am from Cuscatlán. I, am, I live in Cuscatlán. Ok. Disculpe, yes. Disculpe, tengo que retirar. No estoy en la casa. Estoy saliendo de mi trabajo y ya me vienen a traer. Ustedes estoy en la calle recibiendo la clase. 
Así que ahí me disculpa, pero traté de estar lo más que pude, pero me despido en esos momentos porque hoy sí ya me voy para mi casita y voy en carro. Y ahí sí creo que no voy a poder, se me olvidaron los audífonos. Ah, okay. Ahí me oh, okay, no problem, Ana Lucía. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. And see Gracias. you on Monday, okay? Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Gracias. Have a good night. Okay, Marlon and Carmen, ask questions. Did you do this? Did you do that? Let's practice with patience. And I'm going to visit the other group. Very good job, guys. Thanks, okay, teacher. teacher. Did you go shopping? <laughs> Did, is, um, did you went shopping? Uh, Ahí tiene que aplicar el verbo go. ¿Cuál? El go, porque ah, está, sí, está sí, utilizando did. Ah, está okay. utilizando did. Este when está en pasado y tiene que pasarlo al presente uh -huh. para la pregunta. Did you go shopping? Eh, choose. Eh, 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 Monday. Yes, I went shopping the shoes. Okay, perfect. Hello, Kevin. Okay. Hello, Ana, Francisco, Angel, Marvin. Did okay. You, did you finish practicing your sentences? Ya dijeron so, yes. afirmativas, yes. negativas. So, so. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, that is great. And now the question, did you go? Did you go is the right question, but very good job. Right? Thank you for helping Anna to fix the sentence. That was great. Now let's see, did you go dancing last weekend? Did you go dancing last weekend? Yes, I went. Yes, I went. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, you say yes, I went to dance. I went dancing. Nice. Okay, so I see that you have finished this. Uh, still in a minute, right, with the rest of your classmates. Very good job. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thanks. Hello, Carmen. Hello, Marlon. Hello, tell me again. Welcome again to the class. How was your practice? Hello, teacher. ¿Te divirtieron practicando con sus compañeros? <laughs> sí. Yes. Ah, ok. Hasta perdimos una compañera en la sala, pero ya no va a regresar a la sí. clase. Sí. Se nos fue. Se nos escapó. Se nos fue. El break up. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Teacher. Yes. Siento algo difícil el, el, el pasado. Um, it's just a Pero quizás más que todo por los verbos irregulares. Um, yes, right. I'm living in it. Excuse me. At the beginning is a little bit difficult, right? Because we need to practice, right? We need to practice mm -hmm. when uh, we need to change the verb, right? The things of the verb. Like in the negative sentences and the question. Then that is, but you have if you practice a lot, if you try to study the birds, then it is going to become easier, right? So remember that the more you practice, the better you become the language. So that's, Voy a practicarlo that's mucho. Yes. <laughs> okay. And try to learn the verbs, right? Es importante aprenderse los verbos, the present and the simple past in <laughs> este moment. Más adelante en los otros niveles les van a enseñar la tercera columna, ¿verdad? que sería el past participio, el participio pasado. Y se usa para los tiempos perfectos, pero eso es más adelante. Ahorita presente y pasado. Concentrémonos ahí. Simple present, simple past of the verb. And try to make sentences. Intente hacer oraciones. Um, writing down, escribirlas o decirlas. Ok. 
escribir casi es el mismo proceso que hablar, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted escribe en inglés, también está practicando la estructura de las oraciones y se le va a hacer fácil a la hora de decirle. Ah, ok. Practicing that way. So, welcome okay. again, everybody. Let's see, wait, we have time. So, let's start with this topic. Let's continue then. Let me share with you the presentation again. We were doing this exercise. Espero que hayan disfrutado la práctica con sus compañeros. And let's go with this. The verb to be in the present tense, it has three, right? Three forms. En el presente, el verbo to be tiene tres formas. ¿Cuáles son? Which are they? ¿Se acuerdan cuando estábamos hablando del futuro en la sección 1? Y decía, vaya, you are, you are going. Entonces, esas son las tres formas del verbo to be en presente. And, is, and also, are. In simple past tense, the verb to be just has two forms. Solo tiene dos formas y ellas where. son was. Was and, and where. Was where. and where. Very was good. Where. Ahí está más fácil, ¿verdad? Solo son dos. Then you say, I was, he was, she was, it was. Con esos cuatro pronombres, we are going to use was. I was, he was, she was, and it was. And with the other three pronouns, we are going to use were. We were, you were, and they were. Now, let's take a look at the following examples. I was happy. He was hungry. She was a nurse. It was a big dog. We were early. You were at the school. And they were quiet. So simple pass. In simple passes mean yo es... Teacher. Yes. Ese es el, el, el to be. Este es el verbo to be en pasado simple. Okay. Ah, ok. In simple pass. Así okay, lo okay. vamos a utilizar. Ahora, si quiero hacer una oración negativa, solo tengo que agregarle el not después del verbo to be. I add the particle wasn't. not. En contractado se pronuncia wasn't. Wasn't. Y es weren't. That's not. Weren't. Weren't. Wasn't. Weren't. Wasn't. Okay. Weren't. And I have the sentence, I wasn't sad. He wasn't hungry. She wasn't a nurse. It wasn't a big dog. We weren't early. You weren't at the school. And they weren't quiet. So wasn't, weren't. That is the pronunciation when we are using the contracted form. Now, any volunteer to read the first example? Teacher, y, y, el, y el verbo, digamos, por ejemplo, el happy es en presente. Por, por, o sea, la forma del verbo. Mm. Oh, happy is not a verb. In this case, I am using adjective and nouns. Adjective. Happy es un adjetivo. En este caso, el verbo principal es el ah, verbo. Ah, ya, 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 ya. Sería como el complemento, entonces. Eh, sería Vea. como el complemento, yes. Ok, okay. Gracias, teacher. Ok, thank you for your question. Any volunteer to read the examples? Teacher. Meet teacher. Eh, ok. Ana y Yasmin, las afirmativas. Eh, it was Marno. The Meet negative. teacher, yes. Ok. Yes. Let's start with Ana and then Marno in the negative sentences. Yes. I was happy. He was hungry. She was a nurse. It was a big dog. We were early. You were at the school. They were quiet. Excellent. Marlon. Negari, I yes. wasn't sad, he wasn't hungry, she wasn't a nurse, it wasn't a big dog, we weren't early, you weren't at the school, they weren't quiet. That was perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help in this part. Now look at this. To create equation with to be, you put the verb before the subject. Now how to make equation? You were happy. That is an affirmative sentence. I have the subject, the verb, and the complement. In a question, we are going to write the verb to be at the beginning of the question. Were you happy? La primera es una oración afirmativa. You were happy. Tú estabas feliz. And the second one is a question. 
¿Estabas tú feliz? Were you happy? So in this way we make questions. De esta manera hacemos las preguntas. Escribiendo el verbo to be al principio de la pregunta. Were you happy? Let's stay a look of the following examples. Uh, I have the affirmative sentence and the question. I was late. Was I late? You were sick. Were you sick? He was surprised. Was he surprised? She was from Italy. Was she from Italy? It was a big house. Was it a big house? We were ready. Were we ready? You were early. Were you early? They were busy. Were they busy? So, para hacer la pregunta, solo cambiamos el verbo to be al principio de la oración y agregamos el question mark. Don't forget about this. Let's continue studying this example. And you can see in the following chart, the short answers. The first one is like a reflexive question. Right? La primera es como una pregunta reflexiva. O cuando usted va corriendo, dice, was I late? Llegué tarde, llegué a un lugar. Was I late? Le pregunta a otra persona. Llegué yo tarde. Y la otra persona le va a responder, yes, you were. Si llegó tarde o no, you were, you are in time. No, no llegó tarde. Were you sick? Yes, I was. Or no, I wasn't. Was he surprised? Yes, he was. Or no, he wasn't. That is the short answer for he. Then was she from Italy? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Was it a big house? Yes, it was. Or no, it wasn't. Were we ready? Then the answer is, yes, we were. No, we weren't. Were you early? Yes, we were. Or no, we weren't. Uh, were they busy? Yes, they were. Or no, they weren't. That, those are the short answers. So we need just to be careful with the pronoun. If it is he, we answer with he. If it is she, we answer with she. And so on. Now let's take a look at this conversation. And we are going to find some examples of the verb be in simple past in this. Uh, Can you listen? Where were you born? Yes, Martha? teacher. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's... Okay, now, where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. So, ¿Dónde naciste, Melissa? I was born in Korea. So, you weren't born in the U.S., Así que tú no naciste en los Estados Unidos. No, I came here in 1999. Llegué aquí, ¿verdad? Vine aquí en ese año, 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. And negative sentence using the better to be. So I took English classes for two years. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. The expression was born is nacer. Yo nací aquí. So you say, I was born in San Salvador. I was born in Sultan. I was born in San Miguel. I was born in Santa Ana. And so on. Yo nací. Y también lo utilizamos para el año. I was born in. Y en que el año que nacimos. I was born in. And you say, I was born in 2001, I was born in 1989, and so on. And then, I was born in Korea. That is an affirmative sentence. I wasn't born in the United States. That is an example of negative sentence. Now, with where? Uh, you were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. 
They were in Korea in 1998. They were in the U.S. in 1998. So affirmative and negative sentences. And then we have the explanation of the contraction. Wasn't it's equal to was not. And weren't is equals to were not. So let's listen to the pronunciation of these examples and then we are going to practice. State the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Any volunteer to read the affirmative sentence there? Who say me? Any volunteer? We are almost me meeting. Teachers. Oh, thank you so much. Let's start. I was born in Korea. You were pretty young. She was 17. 17. You were born in the same year. They were in Korea in 1988. Thank you. That was excellent. Thank you so much. Then negative sentences. Any volunteer? Me Just teacher. to finish the class. Thank you. Let's start. Me teacher. Okay, Anna. Let's do it. I wasn't born in the U.S. You weren't very old. She wasn't in college. We weren't born in the same country. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Perfect. Thank you very much. 1998. Statements with. Okay, just to finish the class, let's complete this exercise. And we are done after completing it. Complete the following sentences using was or were. I were. I, I, I was. Ah, okay. I was 18 last year. Exercise where? B, Marta and Sara. B? Where? Where? Where painful yesterday. See, si, mm -hmm. Marco, healthy last month. Was. D, she is sick last week. She, she was. She was. She was sick last week. Oh, she was sick last week. And the written? We, 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 we were at the college. We were at that college. F, U. You were, were. you were my, my friend. friend. You were my friend, but right? no anymore. Ya fue. Ya no más. You were my friend. <laughs> okay. So, just to finish. El que vaya leyendo los seis ejemplos puede irse desconectando. ¿Quién quiere comenzar? ¿Quién quiere volunteer? Me, teacher. Ah, ok. Ana, no, es mi. Ya, ya tiene sueño. Ya tiene sueño, Ana. No, tengo otras cosas que hacer después. Ay, Dios mío. Bueno, los trajes no pueden esperar. Let's do it. No, hay que lavarlos ahora porque no se puede mañana. <laughs> ok, Ana. Let's start. I was... Eh... Ya se me olvidó. 18. 18. I was 18. 18 last year. Marta y Sara were painful yesterday. Marco was... Sorry, last month, she was six la six last week. We were at that coll college. You were my friend. Excellent. Just, just the number is 18. I 18. was 18 last year. I was 18 last year. 80, 80 is 80. So 18 ah, in this case. Okay. Thank you, Ana Yasmin. Thank you. Enjoy yes. your weekend. See you. Good you night. See you. Okay, okay. Kevin. Kevin, thank you, thank you, teacher. And then Francisco. Después Francisco. Okay. Okay. I was 18 last year. Marta and Sarah were painful yesterday. Marco was healthy last month. She was sick last week. We were at the college. You were my friend. Almost perfect. Yes, in letter E. At that college. We were at that college. At college, okay. 
Thank you to share. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, Kevin. Enjoy your weekend. Spend time with your family. See you on Monday. Bye bye. Very, very good night. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Francisca, let's do it. Okay. Hey, hey, I was uh, 18 last year. Uh, B, Marta, and Sarah were fine, painful yesterday. C, Marco was. Healthy last month. D. Uh, she was sick last week. Uh, e. We were at the college. If you were my friend. friend. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Francisca. Thank you. Have a good night. See you on Monday. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Okay, me, teacher. <laughs> okay, come and do it. I was uh, 18 last year. Marta and, and Sara were painful yesterday. Uh, Marco was healthy last month. And she was sick last week. And we were at that college. And you were my friend. Excellent job. Thank you. Bye-bye. Enjoy your weekend. Bye, teacher. See you, teacher. Bye. Okay, Angel and Marlon. Ya que quedamos Mi solitos, vámonos a descansar. Nah, no es cierto. Escuchemos a Angel. <laughs> Excellent, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, <laughs> hey, teacher. Okay, let's do it. I was 18 last year. Marta and Sara were painful yesterday. Marco was healthy last month. She was sick last week. We were at that college. You were my friend. That was perfect. Have a good weekend. See you on Monday. Bye, Martin. You too, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Angel, can you? Uh, I was 18 last year. Marta and Sara were painful yesterday. Marco was healthy last month. He was sick last week. We were at the college. You were my friend. Excellent job. Anybody wants? If no, we can continue on Monday, okay? Anybody wants? Bye-bye, Angel. Have a nice weekend. Bye, teacher. Okay, let's do it. I was 18 last year. Marta and Sara were painful yesterday. Marco was healthy last month. He was sick last week. We were at the college. You were my friend. Excellent job. Thank you, Raul. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. See you on Monday. That was Night a great care. job. Bye bye. Okay. Um, okay. Let's stop the class here. Thank you so much, guys, for being here with me. See you on Monday. Bye bye, Delmi. Bye, Marvin. See you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend and sleep well tonight. Bye bye.